No, no, no. Kill the devil talking. It says here, well, put forth your hand and touch all that, that he has. And he will curse you to your face. Meaning if you take his stuff away and you start doing, you know, taking hands of protection from all his stuff, he going to curse you, God. That's what the devil is saying to God. And he's like, no, you know. So number 12, uh, he goes, um, well, the Lord, and the Lord said unto Satan, behold, all that he has is in my power. Everything he got is in my power. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that. But you will not touch my servant himself and put forth not thy hand. He, he, you will not touch Job. You will not hurt him. You will not have his soul. You will not destroy him. You cannot harm him. But you can touch everything else around him. And you will see that this is still my servant. So, and then he said, uh, number 13, he goes, um, did I skip to him? Yeah, uh, yeah. So, say, okay, so Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. And then, uh, one day his sons and his daughters were eating and drinking again while they were at his oldest brother's house. And this is what Job always prayed for them not to do. But they went one day again, drinking and drinking and drugging and whatever else they were doing. Because they knew that their father was a praying man. And they knew that he had favor with God. They knew that he was all about God. But you can't keep doing those wrong things and thinking that God ain't going to do something. Because if you're still out there and you're doing all this stuff and somebody is constantly praying for you. And they're constantly all in you, anointing your head with oil you. And you continue to keep doing that wrong crap. It's going to come a day like this. And it says, number 14, And the messenger came unto Job one day. And they were plowing the oxen, and the asses were feeding among them, beside them. And all of a sudden, um, says the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. They, they had slain the servants and with the edge of the sword. And this the only one that escaped that day. The only one guy, he let one escape. To go back and tell Job, because he let that messenger, he needed to send a messenger so he could hear what's going on. And then, while this messenger was talking to Job, another one came up, number 16, and said that the fire of God had fallen from heaven. And a hundred, and burned up all the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And he was the only one that escaped alone to tell Job. Again, he needed another servant to go and tell Job what happened. So while he was speaking, so two of them were telling Job what's going on. Another guy came over, I don't say guy or girl, but another servant came over and it says here that now the um the uh camels and everything was, was had kept the the chandelions, some might call them chandelions, some them call them chaldeans. They they came and they took all the camels and took all of the servants and slayed the servants and, and killed them with the edge of the sword and only he escaped three. Escaped to go back and and and, and to tell Job what happened. Okay, and well, he was speaking, and it's the third one. He was speaking, another servant came over and said, Now the daughters and the sons were in the house drinking with the brother. Remember I told you they were in the house drinking? And the whole house fell on them. The four corners. It, it says here, in the, a great wind from the wilderness in 19, and the four corners of the house fell upon all of them. They killed them. My God. And then he escaped. So this is four. Okay, and then Joe. Instead of him crying and, and, and just running and saying, oh my God, oh my God, my children, my children, what have you done? Instead of him saying, oh God, you know, you, you this, this, this. What did Job do? In 21, it says here, not in 20, Job arose and, and, and rent his mantle. He shaved his head, fell down on the ground, and started worshiping God. He started worshiping God with a crazy worship. Okay, shave this head and said, naked as I came into the world, naked as I go back to thee, my Lord. And started worshiping God. And instead of him just accusing God and, oh my God, and, and, and you know, he fell on the ground because he knew this is something that's going on here. And the only one that can do it and handle this is my Lord, God. Oh my God, I feel chills. Okay, and then he says, blessed be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Some of you guys, when stuff happens to you, you start crying to God and start crying out, Oh God, you did this. You allowed this to die or this person to die. God, you know, yes, yeah, sometimes he do allow certain things, but you can't accuse God because only he knows and understands what he's doing it for. And only he has the um, knowledge of what's going on. So it, whether it be to strengthen you, whether it be to, to, to whatever it is, God is the only one that knows why stuff happens and why he doesn't allow things to happen. So people, you got to keep in mind that stuff happens 
It's from God. It's His reasons. Only He knows. And all you can do is pray to Him, worship Him, love Him continuously, and continue to keep God in your in, in your life. And don't go astray. Don't start saying, "Oh, he, because He allowed my grandmother to die, or or because He allowed my aunt to die, my mom to die, my father, my sister, my brother, my kids, anybody to die." It's because, you know, He don't love me no more. It's because. I done did something wrong, but it's because this, you, only God knows. Only God knows. Maybe he's choosing you to show the enemy you can't have this one, this is mine. Maybe, it, it, whatever. I'm not even going to sit here and try to figure out what it is. Only God knows. Only how we know why this happened, because it's written in the book of Job. And that was um, verse 1, um, 1 through 22 that I just read to you. It's awesome. Continue to read the rest of the book of Job. And we want to find out the rest of the story. And just put it like this, the man got back a hundredfold, just, you know, for everything that he lost. So, God does return. He does make right. He God does, does make, make a way out of no way. And just remember, through it all, through no matter what happens, no matter what comes your way, God loves you. He, he, you are the apple of his eye. Don't ever think that he don't love you. Don't ever think he's giving up on you. Don't ever, 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 ever think that... It's stuff happening because of, of whatever. Just just believe that it's God and know that it's God. And pray to Him and ask Him for understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless. Mwah.